Good evening, I'm Edison Mess, and you're watching NTTV's online report. In a surprise move this morning, the Supreme Court blocked the Trump administration's attempt to end the deferred action for childhood arrivals, better known as DACA. DACA is an Obama-era program that protects hundreds of thousands of immigrants brought to the U.S. as children from deportation. It also offers recipients work authorization. The 5-4 ruling was written by Chief Justice John Roberts, who joined the more liberal members of the court for the decision. The court's ruling will allow the DACA recipients to continue to renew membership in the program. This isn't the end, however. The Trump administration could move again to try to resign the program. The opinion is the second time that in a week when the Supreme Court has ruled against the Trump administration. The Supreme Court decision comes just days after the Terrence County Commissioner Court voted to continue a controversial federal immigration program that authorizes sheriff deputies to act as ICE agents. Explosive new claims about President Trump from one of his fo top former aides. In his new book, former National Security Advisor John Bolton says Donald Trump asked China's president for help to win re-election in 2020. Bolton says that Trump stressed the importance of Chinese purchases of soybeans and wheat to help his re-election. Bolton also claims President Trump told President Xi to move ahead with the detainment camps for China's Uyghur Muslims and purely by coincidence on Wednesday, Trump signed a bill which sanctions China for treatment, for treatment of Muslims Uyghurs. Trump claims that Bolton lied and that he broke the law by publishing classified information in his new book. The Justice Department has sued Bolton over the publication of the new book, claiming that he never completed the pre-publication review process or received the written authorization before publishing the book. There's new and startling data showing a spike in coronavirus cases across the U.S. Whitney Wilde has the latest from Washington. Looser restrictions around the nation may be giving Americans the sense coronavirus is disappearing. But data shows at least 21 states are seeing infections increase. You're going to see a spike in the number of cases and then a few days or a week later you'll see a spike in the hospitalizations. Data shows that may be true in Texas where both the number of infections and hospitalizations has ticked up. This week, Texas, Florida, and Arizona set daily records for new cases. We've participated on the Arizona surge line, which is a way the state is triaging patients. Last week, we were accepting patients, and this week, um, we did hit our capacity in our COVID designated ICU unit. In Florida, after a group of 16 friends hit the bar, they say they all contracted the virus. I think that we were careless, and we went out into a public place before we should have. Health experts continue to stress states will likely record an uptick in cases as people relax their attitudes towards social distancing and masks. Now, the experts behind the leading model are increasing coronavirus death projections to more than 200,000 by October 1st. And all the statistical data says that COVID is like pneumonia, very seasonal, and that makes us pretty sure there's going to be a second wave. In Washington, I'm Whitney Wilde reporting. The Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is also seeing rising COVID numbers in every county. Denton County set a new record yesterday with 82 new cases. Dallas County had a new high of over 400 and Tarrant reported 180. Fortunately, hospitalization rates remain low in the area. Nationally, we have numbers that are continuing to rise. There have been over 2.1 million people infected with the virus and over 116,000 deaths. President Donald Trump thinks Colin Kaepernick should get another shot in the NFL, but only if he can play well. Speaking to St. Clair Broadcast Group reporter Scott Thumman, Wednesday Trump said Kaepernick's football future should be based on ability. Do you think Colin Kaepernick should get another shot in the NFL? If he deserves it, he should. If he has the playing ability, his playing wasn't up to snuff. The answer is absolutely I would. As far as kneeling, I would love to see him get another shot, but obviously he has to be able to play well. If he can't play well, I think it would be very unfair. The quarterback has been without an NFL contract since 2017. Kaepernick alleges the NFL is keeping him from playing because he spurred a movement to kneel during the national anthem to protest racism and police brutality. The NFL has recently admitted it was wrong not to listen to the players' concerns on those topics, and Roger Goodell recently said that he encouraged his team to sign Kaepernick and that he would support any team that did. Trump also told Thelman that he was disappointed in that statement and everyone should show respect for the flag and national anthem. 
We've all been looking for quarantine activities. Well, fishermen say a bad day fishing still beats a good day at the office. But today we have an extra excuse to swap work for bathing a hook. June 18th is National Go Fishing Day. To celebrate it, just drop a line in your favorite lake, river, or whatever body of water floats your fishing boat, or do the same thing from shore and have fun. You can post pictures on social media using the hashtag National Fishing Day. It's a great activity that you can do while still practicing social distancing. You can follow us on Twitter at NTTV underscore news for the latest. Thank you for watching. Join us again next week for NTTV's online report. For NTTV, I'm Edison Mesa, and have a good evening.